I I did Murph today, but before the day before, there is this girl that like trains at my gym. She she does like CrossFit style workouts, okay. and I was like, hey, are you doing Murph? You know, and you know, it, she's like, no. I was going to do it today, but you know, why are you doing it tomorrow? And I was like, yes. And now he's like, well, she's like, well, what time are you going to do it? And I'm like five, I'll, I'll be, I'll be at the gym at five 30 in the morning. And so she was like, I don't, I'm not good at pull-ups or anything like that. I'm like, just use bands. I don't, I don't, I do not care. I just need someone with me just to kind of push me a little bit. And I went full dummy on the first mile, first mile. Ah, rookie mistake. Yeah. And I, and, and another thing, well, thank God I partitioned it. I typically go straight through the whole time, the whole way, like 100, 200, 300. But I partitioned it. Like when I got to the squats, Wait, I. Hold on. What was your partition strategy? So it was 5, 10, 15. Okay. You did Cindy. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so at the 15 squats, my legs were on fire. Fire. And I was like, oh, Shane. God, this is stupid. You just went but, full luck it. That's all yeah, you did. Pretty much. And then for on the plus side though, I made it through all five of the pull-ups with no issues. Like I held onto the bar the whole time, did not like break it up or anything like that. Good. Hey, I'm hey, just I'm happy not, you I'm broke not, an hour. Yeah, yeah, it was under an hour. So first time, first time ever. But uh, but it was it was crazy because um we were running on treadmills for that mile. And so I was like, yeah, I know this, this. It was like the middle of the, it was like really dark out. No, no, no. It's, it's fine it's, to run on a treadmill. I just know you bumped up the speed because you're like, oh, I'm on a treadmill. It's easier. Mistakes. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you, but, uh, you, you completely fooled, fooled about and found out. Yes. And so the last mile I did, I was 0.2 miles away from finishing. And all of a sudden, my treadmill just stopped. The power went out. <laughs> And I was like, shit. And so it was funny. Like there's a guy, there's a guy, two, two, um, two runners over. He had the same problem, but his, his machine shut off too. And he's like, what the hell? So I'm like frantically like trying to figure a way where I'm going to go. It's I need like, to run I 400 meters. How yeah. do I do this? Please. And so I, I ran to like one of the, the farthest, farthest treadmill and just went full dummy, just like sprinted as far as fast as I can. And I finally made it with like three seconds left before that hour was over. God. Well, hey, great job. You yeah. you panic found panic ran and you got it done. Yeah, I was I was close to I was so close to just running outside, but then all of a sudden I was like, I'll just I'll just stay here. But uh, but yeah, my legs are still sore. I literally used a massage. You're gun. gonna not we, have your morning tomorrow is gonna be terrible, and you know. I this. know. Well, well, well. On the plus side, I used a mas massage gun three times, and cool. then I stretched my quads a lot today. So okay, there we go. I, I, Maintenance I'm whole, helpful. I'm, I'm hope hope cross my fingers. I'm hoping I won't be as sore as I think I might be. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. Cross my fingers. I'm still gonna go work out tomorrow. But that the girl I try was I trained with, she's like, I think I might take a rest day tomorrow. And I was like probably for the best for her. Yeah. <laughs> like yes. she doesn't does not need that in her life whatsoever. No. And it, and she she was she was beating me like halfway into the rest, no, um, two, two thirds into the, into the whole workout. Good for her. And I was like, I, I, I was dying. I was and plus I'm an idiot too. I had a piece of Carvel ice cream cake the night before. And it was just like sitting in my stomach the whole time. I know. I know. I don't, I don't everyone think. at home. I just shook my head and just pure shame. It's like, so hmm, you had high blood sugar. Hmm, like you're just really just setting yourself up for success here, aren't you, pal? Listen, I cannot <laughs> like if if Carvel <laughs> if if there was Carvel ice cream cake around, I am eating it. That's not Carvel ice cream cake is some of the best out there. Honestly, I I don't care for any other cake except for Carvel ice cream. Sponsor me, please. So, but but yeah, so that was uh, pretty much the gist of my morning, and um. But yeah, but other than that, how's training going for you? It's great. Um, I am enjoying it quite a bit right now. So, um, are, are you still to, doing? Are you still doing like the running training at all, or no? Like I'm running two days a week, but nothing okay. super crazy. Um, I want to snatch two seventy five by the end of the year. 
Shit. So I've been doing yeah a bunch of like squat holds, overhead squat holds, dead dead hangs, um, just a bunch of nonsense. Uh, so it is brutal right now. Um, yeah. Are you are you, are you going to Misfit Training Camp in Philly? Philly? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I would like to go, but of course I'm not going to go. So, but yeah, yeah it's, it's, like should, you, it's, should be fun. it's like anything else crossover related. It's like, I, I, I'll i go. It's like, you won't go. Um, <laughs> come on, man. Yeah, Brandon Luckett was get, Brandon Luckett was giving me shit too. He's like, you got to go to some of these events. And I'm like, I don't know if I'd be able to, but we'll see. Yep. Got to go to an no. event sometime. Yeah. Yeah. So, what, so do you know like how, how Misfit, Misfit Athletics like picks? the areas where they do the the camps at all or well like the past three years there was there was a little uh little little virus yeah um so most of the camps have been at hq um typically when like other gyms want to host and if you participated on a discord um they were asking for gyms like if anybody wanted to host a camp um Mm -hmm. because people were asking about it and so the gym they chose crossfit raid um Justin Rementer and his wife, Melanie, um, own that gym in Philadelphia and I know them and they reached out about like, Hey, can we host it? Can you guys do a camp if we host down to Philly? Okay. Okay. So so is it like in the city or is it like on the outskirts? I am not sure. I have not looked it up at all. Um, I know signups are through the 31st. We need a few more to make sure that camp happens. Um, I, I know it's in the Philly area, but it's definitely not in the city because the city's um, not, not the best. Not the, not, not the best. Not the yes. best. Yeah. If, if, anybody, if anybody has a chance, this is for the listeners, if anybody has a chance to go to one of these camps for Misfit, I mean, I, to be honest with you, do it I've for heard- Tom. Yeah, do it for me. But I've heard nothing but good things about it. I mean, if they help you with your called an athlete IQ, just like learning about how to pace, how to do the workouts and like kind of think about how to execute some of these workouts as well. And it's and it's fun, too. Yeah, it's typically two and a half days. Um, There are it's uh, warm up movement like to critique and make sure everyone's on the same page workout and then like that's usually what it is for like it's a friday evening saturday morning saturday afternoon sunday morning sunday afternoon and on saturday sunday there's you there is a what do i want to call them like more of a seminar like if anybody's had their l1 um it's typically like a pre just talk um just about mindset uh, nutrition uh goal setting those types of things especially as competitors and again it's a commu- it's a competitor program, but the level is much more like brought back to make sure that everyone's on the same page. This isn't like a like quarterfinals prep camp or something like that. This is more for the entire community. If you're new to CrossFit, you've been doing it for years, you're interested in just kind of just seeing um, another way of programming or something else, definitely show up, and that's what you're going to end up receiving um, from all the coaches and the staff. Yeah. So if you're like like Xander said, if you're brand new. Just go to the camp. You'll you'll learn a whole lot of stuff, and you get to yeah. see some some stud athletes too as well, and have and meet some people that could be your friends for life. Yeah, like maybe some games athletes will show up that you're interested in. Caroline Connors and Paige Semenza. Um, maybe probably Austin if he can get the time off, or whomever else shows up. So it'll be a great time. Just definitely be there um, in October in Philly, fall time, Northeast, perfect time to be there. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, since you said Caroline and Austin, so are they still in Virginia? Like, what's the what's the whole deal with that? Or are they up back up in Maine? They, no, they moved to Virginia. Um, they're coaching at CrossFit Krypton. They work at Krypton. Oh, oh okay. And so okay. they're doing indie, um, and so they're competing this weekend. It's so it's so strange because they finally like I've just been waiting two weeks for my friends, and I'm just like, can they just compete now? Because I really just want to watch this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so are they part of? Are they still part of Misfit, or are they just are they just mm-hmm. working with crypt, with crypto? They're just working. They're like affiliate coaches. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, at least at least they get Ben Smith to kind of look over them and kind of. Oh yeah, like them Ben's too, there. So. Yeah. So I think Ben qualified for Senes. Did he? I, I, I'm probably wrong about this. I'm probably just trying to. I'm mixing up last year. Um. So. 